Hello, Rebecca. What you doing? Because you know I'm OCD. I'm all the stuff in the Mm hmm. What you doing? Um, watching hockey. Mm hmm. That's where are we at? We are back in the hospital. Chateau Le Duc. Le Duc, La Chateau, some shit. Chateau Le Duc. I've been here twice in two weeks. Yeah, three weeks. Fifteen days or two weeks. Yeah. Got here on the sixteenth, seventeenth, somewhere in there. And then I was transported from First Health mm -hmm. via ambulance. Yep. And then when we got here, um. They admitted me and I stayed here from, it was either Tuesday or Wednesday, it depends on uh, what day they transported me. I was still in a hospital. Um, and then, so we, um, I came up here and I was up here either Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way until the following Monday. Mm -hmm. um, so 18, 19, 20, 21, 22nd or so. Something like that. And I got out that Monday. I was fever free for two days. Yeah. I've been tested for like everything from leukemia to HIV on down. Um, and and a couple of weird tick related. Yeah, I can I can tell you. Forgot what they're called. Hold on, I'll, I I've got it pulled right here. Um, and I did it Hep A B C D and E. I was tested for COVID, RSV, flu, blood cultures, urine cultures, UTI, leukemia. HIV, hepatitis A, B, C, D, E, a DVT, a PE, infection of the heart, pregnancy, and erlichia anaplasmosis, which is a tick-related thing. Mm -hmm. um, I've had low iron, hemoglobin, hematocrit, and platelets, um, and they added that to my low potassium, sodium, and magnesium. Um, so, <sighs> it's been a treat, and um, I went home and I was fever free for two days, went home, and they told me, you know, just kind of watch fevers if I still had any. And um, I didn't start running a fever until Friday night. We were coming from a concert. And when we got home, it was um, 101.4. And so I did Tylenol and then um, uh, it kind of dropped down into the 99th until 10.30 the next night, where, or that same night where it was 12.30 a.m., it went 10.30 p.m., so then it went back up to 101.4. Then at 4 o'clock, it was 101. Then I broke it, and I was doing really good until about 11.30 on the 28th, and then it went back to 101.4. Then at 8 o'clock, it was 100. At 5.50, it was 100.7. Then it kind of went back into the 90s until 8.40 that night where it went to 100. Then on the 29th at 10.19, it was 102.2, and 11.18, it was 101.8, and that was even after having taken Tylenol. Then at 12.30, it was 101.1, and at 3.30, it was 102.5, and then you took it at like 4 o'clock in the morning, and it yep. was um, 102.9, yep. and so... Tylenol is not kicking it, but we have no idea what the infection is from. So they, if it even is an infection, yeah. So we um, obviously we think it is because yeah. that's what the fever is from. But um, but I um, I um, had a choice to make on whether we came up here or we went to the hematology doctor because right, you were to, scheduled for that infusion yeah, supposed to well more so well, it's more to check meet and with see the if I'm one. ready yeah. for an infusion which I get them about every six months and um, because it's in a cancer clinic I knew they wouldn't see me since I had a fever so um, made the decision since my fevers were getting higher to go ahead and come on up here um, drove up here to Duke um, when we left the house my fever was what 97 it had actually broke. yeah it was it was kind of normal it was like 98 one yeah and so we drove the two hours up here 
and I can feel it. It's like having a hot flash and I can feel my body heating up, but I get the chills. And um, I told the nurse, I said, I think it's rising. And so she did my ear and it was like 98.7. And I said, that's not right. And right. So and then that was when we were in triage. Yeah. She did oral and it was, um, what was 99. it? 99.3, 99.4, something like yeah. that. And see, when it gets to like 99.5, I start getting the chills. Well, we got back into the room and we were in the room not even an hour when it jumped to... What was it 101.9? Something like or something that. Something like that. Yeah, it was one. It was over 101.5. Yeah, and so they went and got IV Tylenol and brought it to me, and um, they admitted me again. And by the time we got up here, um, when we left triage or well, the emergency room, their little triage yeah, room, the back um, room. Yeah. By the time we left there, I kept telling her it was rising again, and it was what 99.9. Yeah. When we got um, in the bed to come up here. It was 99.1 when we were in the room yeah. to come here. Yeah, and then when we got up here. And the transport brought us upstairs to your room. Yeah, I told him, I said, the fever's back. And he said, are you sure? And I said, yeah. And he took my temperature, and it was 101. 101.4, I think, four. is what he said. And yeah. he took off running out the door because I'm not due for Tylenol anytime soon. Yep. So we'll see how it goes. But... So Fun times. Yeah, we're here. And I'm waiting for food because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten today. We are starving. Yeah. So I got myself a flatbread with some avocado mayo and some cheddar cheese and french fries and yummy stuff. Yummy stuff? Yeah, I didn't want any, like, meat on it. Um, usually you can get turkey or ham, and I don't feel like trying to fight to digest it. Right. I may only eat. Oh, well, it a is what it is. Huh? Said it is what it is. Yeah, I may eat just a couple of French fries. It depends on how hard they are. Yeah. And then. Um, yeah, you can't do the real crunchy ones. Yeah. And then um. I don't even know what else. I think that was it that I got. I can't remember. Sweet That's tea. That's fun. I got you a chocolate milk. Yeah, okay. chocolate milk and a banana for me. Yeah. And um. Oh, and when we were downstairs, they gave us a. Um, like a, a turkey sandwich bag that had a turkey sandwich and that was actually good applesauce and mm -hmm. I went ahead and gave you my turkey sandwich because I don't want anything with meat right now I, I don't want to fight it, it was a out. prison sandwich dude it was literally just bread and meat well they, they no have, mayonnaise they none of that the packets yeah I know, where you can I know it's, it's pre-made like, like that at the cafeteria it's just easier to pre-make them well from some the people some people can't eat the yeah, mayonnaise mustard stuff so but we um I could have got you some packets if you needed them. Well, that's all right. But we um we did that, and so since I've been up here, I've um I've attempted to clean my fistulas. Um, Real scout bag, your overnight bag. I, I attempted to clean my fistulas, and um, I've set up my room where I know where everything is. I guess I'm having an MRI done later. That's going to be yeah. But the see, whole you, body. they said you had that one type of MRI that's not very common. Uh, it's, it's a 3D, but it shows clots. Yeah, it, it's more for like detailed information on specific type of what do you call it? An MR MRI V or something like yeah. that. It, it it's 3D yeah. and it shows like clotting. And stuff but like I think that. they're gonna do a full body MRI. Mm -hmm tomorrow so probably in the middle of the night like they always do yeah i tend to go between 11 and 30. i was gonna say it's between 11 and 4 a.m they're yeah. gonna come up here for like x-ray and freaking all kinds of stupid stuff well i've already had chest x-rays done i'm supposed to have an echocardiogram of my heart to make sure there's no clotting around my heart right um, and then they're still trying to figure it out they've gone ahead and start they took cultures this time i didn't take antibiotics um, but they took cultures, and we'll go from there. Yeah. Um, um, they've started two antibiotics just to try to, you know, kill something. Um, they've taken a bunch of blood work. They've done hepatitis again. Um, Which is weird, but I mean, it is what it is. Well, the transplant clinic handles what hepatitis and liver and kidney yeah. and all of that because that's a part of their transplant stuff if it's gonna um 
if it's gonna what's the word I'm looking for? If it's gonna reject. Um, the those are the things they worry about. Yeah. And so they all they forever test for that and so I don't know when I I probably had to type and screen. Um, since they admitted me, things are starting to come through. I know they took a a full vial the last time that guy took blood from me. He took a full vial. Yeah, I saw that. Um, he said he had to have it completely full for whatever reason. So. And then... Um, well, they're brewing something up. Yeah. And it's only 7, almost 7.30. Yeah. And I'm going to have to leave in about an hour. i got to go pick Jesse up from work. Yeah, it stinks that, you know, stuff like this is going on and we just don't have the... The ability to do it all ourselves, you know? yeah. Um, and so. it's it, that's you know not against anyone. Um, you know, I don't know very many people in Fayetteville, and thankfully Jesse's best friend Nick, his his mama, Aunt Miss Amber, she picked Jesse up today and took him to work. Yeah, the Jones even, family's always been good to us. Yeah. They're, they're great. I didn't even know he had to or he had to work today. Yeah, I was they're all confused, great. Confused, thinking his next day was Saturday. And so I think he works Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. I'm not 100 percent sure, but but I think on that note, I'm gonna go watch the hockey game because it's playoffs. The Bruins are playing the Maple Leafs. Carolina Hurricanes are about to play in Game Five against the Islanders, and we'll check back in in a little while. <laughs> you gonna say bye, everybody? Bye. Ciao for now. Ciao for now.